Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a top 10 video. Today we are going to be talking about the top 10 missing LEGO Spider-Man figures. And I know what you're thinking, you've already done this video back in 2019. And you're right, I did. I did top 15 missing ones and I actually was already working on this list and I saw a comment today saying this video aged poorly and I'm like, did it? Because I think that it aged perfectly. The fact that out of the 15 figures, six of them have been made into a Lego minifigure is great. Like that's exactly what that list was there for. Six out of 15, that's pretty good. So today we're gonna talk about 10 figures that I still think that we need to get. Some of them are from that list, but things have changed since then. You know, we've gotten some really interesting teases for certain characters. So we'll talk about that as we go through. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started. So at the bottom of our list here in spot number 10 is actually Miles Morales. And he's the lowest here just because I feel like, especially looking at what they did with Gwen Stacy, who was actually on my original list of 15, it's just not going to be the greatest. They're probably just going to reuse parts, but I still think that it is important that we do get him. I was actually surprised that he wasn't in the bugle because Peter and Gwen are both there. It would have been really cool to have Miles there as well, but I just think that there's definitely a need to get him in his civilian form. Next up, we have spot number nine. It's Aunt May from the MCU. And because it's not really a priority. We get so many Aunt Mays as it is. But I just think that having a younger version from the MCU would be pretty cool to get. And I think that even with us seeing the No Way Home sets now and having this other third movie come out with sets, it's sad that she doesn't appear in any of them, just to, like as a civilian in peril or something like that. It's definitely something that I think LEGO should do in the future or put it in maybe an Infinity Saga set, which we will touch on a little bit more later. Next up, we have the Prowler. And the reason that the Prowler is here is because he also, after that video, wound up appearing in the Spider-Man Miles Morales game. And I just think that that would be so great. He's just appearing in more things. Of course, he was in Into the Spider-Verse. It would just be so fun to get the Prowler in a a Lego Spider-Man set. The design is so unique as well, like the purple outfit and green, like it would just is so different than any of the other Spider-Man villains that we've gotten, I think would look really, really great. Next up here, spot number seven, we actually have Electro, and I've kind of shuffled him down a bit. I think he might have been seven on the other list, but that was out of 15. He's lower on this list just be because comparing to other characters and things like that on this list that you'll see in a second, we've already gotten two versions of him. Now, they're not the greatest. One of them, of course, was from that trike set that no one really likes. It was based off the ultimate design. And then also he wound up coming in this poly bag that was sold, I think, from Target or something like that. So it was just really rare. It was Jamie Foxx as well from the Amazing Spider-Man 2 movie. And we didn't get sets based off of that. And we still have yet to get that classic Electro look in a set. It was actually originally planned for that Spider Trike set. I can't show you, but there was actually pictures leaked for that original Spider Trike set. And the confidential pictures actually showed that it was going to be the green and yellow suit. So not sure what happened there. That suit has since appeared in Duplo sets. So I would love to get that in minifigure form, just like we see here on screen. Plus, now he is, of course, a villain in the Spider-Man No Way Home movie. So hopefully, if we do get more sets from that movie, we see him in that. And the design here from the new movie is actually from Lego Mega Artist over on Instagram, which you can check out down below. I also use one of his designs later on, which you'll see. Spot number six, we have the symbiote suit. It is insane to me after how much love Lego has put into Venom and Carnage and doing all these different things like the Venomized Iron Man, putting two versions of that out in two different sets. And then we also got Pork Grind. Like, where is our symbiote suit? Symbiote, symbiote fight me. Uh, anyways, I'm just so sad that we haven't gotten that yet. It did, of course, appear in a Comic-Con set but we need that suit in minifigure form readily accessible to buy just we need that head really because we've got all the venom torsos that would be fine it's just we need to get that minifigure head please lego it's not that difficult it's two eyes that's all we need <laughs> but oh my goodness next up here we have Morbius the Living Vampire. And the reason that he's here, spot number five, is because he's getting his own movie in January. And that movie's been pushed around a lot, just like other movies. But my point with this is that he is a Spider-Man villain who's pretty well known, who's getting his own movie. It would just make sense to put him in a Lego Spider-Man set. 
And I just think that with the Bugle, we saw that really cool tease of him in that set. I hope that that potentially is a tease for what is to come for LEGO Spider-Man. I would love in the summer or spring, whenever, to actually get a Spider-Man classic set with Morbius. I think that will be so great, especially maybe if the movie does well. I don't know how well that's going to be re received. But moving on now to spot number four, we have Mr. Negative, a character that was on the original list. We really need this. Like, it's crazy to me that this figure has not happened since that video. He was the main villain in all of the promotional material going into the Spider-Man PS4 game. That game was absolutely insane, so huge. We since have gotten the remastered and, of course, the sequel with Miles. And it's just, I'm just waiting. It is such a simple figure to do. I, I think that it would be great. Since making that, I have had it pointed out to me that maybe LEGO wouldn't do it because of blackface and everything like that and the potential uses of that minifigure head. But at the same time, LEGO could be used to make anything inappropriate. So I don't really think that that should be stopping them from giving us a Mr. Negative. I think that the design for him is just so unique as well as diversity. Give us more diversity in our villains which we wound up getting black hat who is spot number one in the last list she did come in the bugle but diversity in terms of hey here's an asian villain that would be really great as well moving on now spot number three we have the homemade suit it's bumped up a lot on the list and you know why it's because of those spider-man no way home sets i look at them and i'm so sad that because they dipped back in to the old movies they brought back vulture they brought back mysterio why didn't they give us the homemade suit there it was the perfect opportunity i'm really disappointed about that but like we touched on on a video recently with the new spider-man animated show coming out on disney plus spider-man freshman year i think that would be the perfect opportunity lego loves to give animated stuff sets we saw that with what if it got the most figures in the minifigure series it got the most sets only sets from all the disney plus shows so i wonder if we are going to be seeing a set based off of that show or maybe including him in a minifigure series too but the homemade suit i really think it has to happen it makes so much sense again sad that we didn't get it back then it could also be in an infinity saga set i think that'd be fantastic but moving on now spot number two we have kingpin kingpin oh my goodness I'd, I'd love to talk more about all the rumors and things like that circling about the MCU. There's that. There's also the fact that he was teased in the Daily Bugle set. And we've since gotten Daredevil. Main adversary for Daredevil. Huge adversary for Spider-Man. I think it would be so great if we were to get a set kind of like the one that you see on screen here that I actually designed. You could check out a separate video looking at this with Kingpin's office. Please, Lego. Let's let's do Kingpin. You've got the pieces with the new Thanos body. You can see on screen here my designed version for that using all the pieces from Thanos. It is right there. It's so, so easy to do. I'm still really, really wanting it. And very lastly here, spot number one, we have the Lizard. And the Lizard, I would absolutely love to get him. I don't know what's taking so long. Of course, he is a villain in No Way Home, which is why he's actually spot number one here. And the reason he's above like everyone else on the list is because he's in No Way Home. So I hope that if we do get more sets from No Way Home, more spoiler accurate ones, he is in a set there. But also the fact that he's just one of the core members of Spider-Man's rogues gallery, one of the members of the Sinister Six that we still have yet to get in the Lego form. No Kurt Connors, nothing. But that was actually teased in the Daily Bugle, of course. Kurt Connors was right there, front and center, on one of the screens. So I hope that that potentially means that down the line, we could be seeing the lizard. I think that would be really great to get, but it's just right there. I, I really just think it's so sad. And it would work perfectly, as you could see here, from LEGO Mega Artist. His design is just perfect using the Thanos pieces there, but also giving us the one with the longer lizard head and the lab suit and all that for a comic book set. Please, Lego, let's make it happen. But anyways, everyone, what do you think of this list? I do got to mention Rhino was on this list, but I'm not sure what is happening with those four plus Spider-Man sets. He's rumored to appear in one of them, so I didn't bother including him here since we are going to get Rhino for the first time since I think it was 2015. So I'm really excited about that. Anyways, everyone, I would love to hear your thoughts. What do you think of this list? Who do you want to see in LEGO minifigure form? 
Is there a different character that I'm completely forgetting? Is there a favorite suit that you have that you'd like to see? Of course, there was also the bombastic Spider-Man suit that was teased in the spider layer set. But anyways, everyone, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and I hope you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.